welcome back to my channel thank you so much for checking out another one of my videos today I'm going to be doing a review on some kid products so if you had some kids go ahead and stay tuned if you're interested in tablets well today I want to show you the differences and um, just some things that I don't like and that I do like about the Navi and the leap pad so first I got the leap pad for my son who is four years old now but he was two at the time so I got him the leap pad because I just wanted something for him to play with in the car um, because he was terrible in the car and I didn't want to spend a lot of money well the leap pad 2 and this is the Explorer version um, it has is preloaded with like two or three little games like you have a little pet on there and you could decorate uh, their area and dress them up and give them a bath and feed them stuff like that and it also has a preloaded movie on there um, a leapfrog movie which is excellent and um, very educational so I got this because I wanted him to have something to play with in the car and be educational well the educational thing is definitely an A plus super their videos their leapfrog videos are awesome and very educational the songs that come on there I mean, they're just very easy to learn and very catchy, and uh, they really help my son. So, that was one of the things I did like about it. The thing I don't like about it is it's very bare bones. That's it. You get one little movie and maybe a two little fun things you could do. Um, so you have to buy cartridges for it, and they're not cheap. So I don't like that you have to buy those games. You don't have to, but if you want to do more than just that, you're going to need to buy the games. Um, it comes with a little stylus, it comes with a power button right here, there's a volume button here and here, it also has a camera on the front and on the back, so that was a plus because my son loves to take pictures. Um, one downside is it didn't come, or at least the package that I bought, did not come with rechargeable batteries. You couldn't just plug it in and charge it up. I wasn't aware of that when I bought it, so I had to buy the rechargeable battery pack. I think that was about $35 to $45 in addition to the tablet. Um, but I think I got the tablet a fairly fairly cheap, about $45. So um, considering um, it wasn't uh, rechargeable, that was the downside. So anyways, um, the thing that I really don't like about it is that you have to buy the battery, you have to buy the rechargeable battery pack if it doesn't come with it, the games, and it's not very durable at all. Not durable. My two-year-old son dropped it and he just he wasn't able to use it anymore. I just quit working. The screen just glitches and just freezes all the time. And so he can't use it. So garbage. We needed a new tablet. So we thought we would upgrade to the Navi. I was really excited and really impressed with all the commercials. So I thought, this is the what I want. I did a lot of research. Well, apparently I did not come across the research that told me not to buy it. <laughs> so, um, really disappointed in the Navi. I thought that this durable, you know, big red bumper was going to be so protective and keep my tablet from freezing and breaking and cracking. Well, it does. It keeps it from cracking, but it's, I don't know really how shockproof it is. You would think that's really shockproof, but honestly, it's not. I don't, I do not recommend this to anyone unless you want it for like a three-year-old or I don't know. I just, I'm just not happy with it because it just quit working on me. And I'm sure that if I called um, Navi, they may send me a new one. But the thing is, if you avoid your warranty, you can't call them and complain because it's not working. Um, how I avoided my warranty was the Navi games that are that are preloaded on this are just not, it wasn't enough for my son, it wasn't very entertaining, it wasn't fun for him to play those games, and he wanted to watch movies, well, it's only 8 gigs. So when I wanted to put movies on there, I would have to take everything off of his tablet to put one movie on there, and it may or may not fit on there. So um, yes, you would, you would say, well, it comes with a, uh, a memory card slot. So you can expand the memory. That's a load of crap. You can't put a movie on a memory card in there. It doesn't work like that. Um, the memory card, well, you may be able to do that. I don't know. But you can, the only thing the memory card is good for is pictures. You can't put any apps on the memory card. So anytime your son or your daughter wants to download a new app, 
you have to delete one. And even if they really like that one, and they really want to download the new one, it's like, you know, a constant battle. Like, which one do you want to keep? Which one do you want to delete? All the time. Never enough memory on this thing. The memory sucks. Um, the screen, the display is not that great. The knobby games, honestly, if that's what you, if your kid plays educational games and that's what they're into, then go for it. But my son was not into that. He was not into the chore list. Everything that was built into this tablet to make it what it is, my son didn't like. So it was just a complete fail. Um, it was really exciting opening it and figuring it out, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't work anymore. The screen doesn't turn on. I can't return it because, you know, I avoided the warranty because the Navi games weren't fun. So I downloaded, I had to YouTube all this stuff on how to download the Amazon App Store to your Navi and bypass all the Navi settings. So I did that. And then I was able to download apps from the App Store and he was still able to buy apps whenever he wanted. So it was just, no, 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 no. I did not like it at all. Um, so if you really wanted to buy your child a tablet, just get them one that is going to last. I would say get them an iPad, honestly. Just spend the money. Get them, or even an iPod Touch. That's what I think I should have gotten my son, was an iPod Touch. It's just, it's going to last so much longer than any child's tablet. Or if you don't want to spend the money on it, I would get them something that's tried and true and give a, get them an Amazon, you know, or Kindle Fire or, you know, something like that. Get them a little tablet that is good quality and not going to break over time. Get them a good case and a good screen protector. Don't, don't waste your money on these crappy things that show you great commercials and they really suck. So, I would not do that. That's it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you some insight, some motherly insight on these tablets that I thought would work for my son and thought were so great, which are complete poop, and I wasted my money. So, um, hopefully you guys don't waste your money. Hopefully um, I was able to help you answering some questions if you were thinking about getting these things for your children. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click subscribe if you have not already done that. I post all kinds of mom uh, tips and reviews and product reviews that I use that I think are helpful for moms in general. So if you guys are moms and you have young kids, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will see you guys around. Bye!